Now, I want to take you back to November of last year, the Food Safety Act that openly said that you couldn't go pick dates off of your date tree or figs or tangerines, whatever the case was, and make jam and give it to your neighbor. Uh, that you couldn't invite people over to eat food that you'd grown in your garden. And that's why we see all this harassment now of farmers markets everywhere. Big Agra gave $17 million in one week in November, a record, trying to pass it because they are exempt from all of it. They wrote the legislation, just like Obama has given over 2,000 waivers now uh, to mega companies like McDonald's and others where they don't have to get insurance for their employees, but your hamburger shop next door does. This is the essence of the new world order is a collectivist system where only the mega corporations that run the governments are allowed to operate. They're allowed to have a coal power plant. Their competition can't. They don't have to buy the insurance. You do. And so the Food Safety Act, after a scare with a big, giant producer, it's almost always a big producer. I've seen reports where Tyson Chicken can have hundreds and hundreds of violations at one plant. Their smaller competition has one violation, shut down. That's how this stuff works. And so that's what uh, the IRS is changing its, its, its rules, not law where you can't write off your family farm or ranch. Uh, they call it a hobby farm now. Uh, you, you run a farm or ranch just to be able to get enough money to pay the property taxes. You work in town as a school teacher or at the power plant or uh, as a mail person. I'm just you know kind of mentioning what my family does in East Texas. They've all got jobs because, and, and they couldn't keep the land if they didn't have the cows on it for the tax, uh, lower taxes. Um, because of the agriculture exemption. And now under these rules, it would shut us down. In fact, we're very close to it right now. And we already have agriculture being destroyed. Now they introduced and actually said, this is a treaty, just one paragraph, and that we will enforce as policy in that bill that failed, but narrowly, it's back now, Codex Alimentarius. Now, that's now gone in this year in Europe. People couldn't believe it would happen. Hundreds of herbal remedies, mainline vitamins, minerals, no longer over the counter. Now this is coming here. This is global standardization. This will devastate the economy. This will devastate people uh, who couldn't get help in the mainline medical system but have gotten relief and sometimes cures uh, by being able to simply access the building blocks of what the body's made up of. You know, they come out and admit the Prozac-type drugs are now confirmed to be one of the big causes of autism. It's a cocktail of other things as well. They're, they're deadly poison. Of course they are. They're chloride uh, and um, they're a fluoride and uh, other chemicals basically mixed together. The point is they are really doing this. This is really happening. And we need to raise the alarm now and realize how serious this situation is. Under these new laws they're trying to pass and the new regulations they're trying to enforce, because even when they can't get laws passed, uh, just like with the greenhouse gas taxes, uh, they will just have the bureaucracies implement it. And they've had the Supreme Court rule that, 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 the, that the EPA can do this. Uh, so this is incredible what's happening. Well, the same thing's happening with the FDA now. And Mike Adams joins us here in studio today with just a few of the products that you're not going to be able to get under this Codex Alimentarius uh, by Stealth. And he's got the headline at naturalnews.com. FDA scheme to outlaw nearly all nutritional supplements created after 1994 would destroy millions of jobs and devastate the economy. Mike Adams, uh, thank you for joining us. Good to have you here again in studio with us. Uh, break down exactly what we're facing. Great to be here again, Alex. Thanks for having me on and for that intro. Yeah, this is, to borrow a phrase from your feature film, this is the FDA's end game to really destroy the dietary supplements industry. And now all these products that I'm showing here, these are examples of products that would be outlawed under these new regulations, these proposed rules. Now the FDA essentially would require that every one of these companies go out and analyze every ingredient they have and apply for a new permission, new approval from the FDA for every ingredient in every product they've formulated in the last 17 years. It's an impossible uh, 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 job and it makes them waive their rights when they sign the agreement. 
Oh, absolutely. And realize this is not being debated in Congress. This isn't a law. This is a tyrannical regulation by unelected bureaucrats at the FDA. So they couldn't get Codex Alimentarius through last November. The bill's been reintroduced, Food Safety Act, so now they're just doing it by executive fiat. That's exactly it. Now, they say, what's interesting is this comes out of 1994, Deshaies, that bill that Congress passed in 94, which said that all of these companies need to notify the FDA when they use a new ingredient. Well, notification is one thing. The FDA has twisted that now and said it's not going to be notification. We're going to use that as an approval process so we can deny you permission to use any of these ingredients in any of these products. And better yet, to make it even more tyrannical, Alex, the FDA says that, let's say this company, Interfood, one of your sponsors, let's say that they get approval for their chlorella or spirulina. Let's just say they managed to pull that off. Why do I need an authorization to eat plankton? Well, exactly. Exactly. But the FDA says, well, this wasn't used in dietary supplements since uh, before 1994, so they need new approvals. But even if they get approval, then some But plankton is, a, is, a, is an animal. I mean, I don't need to get government approval to eat that. Well, the FDA says if you don't get approval, they're going to call your product adulterated. Adulterated. And that means they can then call in the U.S. Marshals to conduct an armed raid on your company. And they do that with guns, so when they show the dumb jury it, the jury thinks they must be criminals if cops come in with guns. That's exactly it. That's why they got people selling pumpkins with guns aimed at them or Amish to show the jury so the jury goes, well, they must be evil. Yeah, yeah, they, they really know how to use tactics of tyranny. To well, it's theater. Things. It is theater, absolutely. And there's a whole history of FDA raids, armed raids against vitamin companies. For those who may not believe it, just search, you know, search history of FDA raids. But in any Well, no, we got all these videos now. Yeah. I mean, you can look yeah. at them on YouTube where they have like a farmer's market and there's cops screaming, get down, get down, get down. Yeah. You're selling rutabaga. Yeah, pulling guns on, on raw cheese, things like that. Pretty, pretty crazy. But... Again, if Enerfood has their ingredient approved to the FDA, that doesn't count for this company. Even if they use the exact same ingredient, they say this company has to get the same ingredient reapproved, and so does this company and this company and this company. So every company has to apply for every ingredient that they've used since 1994 and get reapproved by the FDA, or they cannot sell their products in the United States at all. But, I mean, uh, now, now let's take Enerfood, and, and, and the government now with this new, quote, regulation made up, they're saying organic orange peel, folks, you got to get authorization right. for oranges are, are with Al Qaeda. I've seen raids on uh, uh, farms, it was like five, six years ago, that was uh, uh, growing uh, aloe vera uh, and, and saying you can't say that, you know, and they sell it at Walgreens that drinking this is good. You know, we're saying it's a drug. Aloe vera, proven to calm the stomach, proven. I mean, I've gotten burns before, and boy, it, it has a great effect. No, I'm, I'm, I'm evil. Uh, let's, I mean, let's uh, mention more evil here. Organic barley and wheatgrass. There's nothing more evil than grass. Uh, organic rose. Uh, uh, rose hips. Oh, man, this is evil. Uh, <laughs> this is even worse. Organic beetroot. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's going to get worse. Uh, organic white asparagus. Dude, asparagus is like a belly bomb. But importantly, these are foods, but the FDA says even if it was sold as a food before 1994, you still have to reapply for permission. So they tell us mercury is good for children's brains. In right. fact, pull up that news clip. I'm going to play it later. Mercury is good for you, but, but, but you're not going to eat oranges. Those, those are deadly. And guess what's exempted from all of these new proposed regulations? Any synthetic chemicals used in vitamins. So a company that makes a cheap synthetic poisonous form of artificial vitamins they don't have to apply. And notice the drug companies all have their synthetic versions, which I've seen the studies that are actually toxic to the liver. They they take petrochemicals and make fake ones, but that's all exempt. It's it's the orange peel. In fact, I'm f I've I've got oranges at home. Did you? <laughs> yeah, they might Am be I going to get SWAT you. teamed? Uh, per, if you if you try to sell it as a supplement, you might. I don't know if you can see this. I've got seven. Uh, turn seven around pages. here. Yeah. This is some of the the applications Let's that you have it. to do for every. Every ingredient that you use now, the FDA says you have to research the efficacy, the safety, the clinical trials, and if it's a plant, you have to find the name of the original scientist who named that plant with its Latin name. I mean, you have to go back through the history books and find that and submit all this to the FDA, go through this flow chart for every ingredient that you're trying to get approved. What about evil selenium? Yes, selenium, forget it. And, and they say if you alter the dosage of it, then you have adulterated the product. That's right. Now they're saying you can have over-the-counter, but it's got to be a lower exactly. dose. That's it. 
So let's take vitamin C. If before 1994, if vitamin C was sold at 60 milligrams, they would say that's okay. But if you now increase it to 500 or 1,000 milligrams, now they say that's adulterated and you need a new approval from the FDA. Well, this is itself. even more evil. This company, it says it has basil leaf. Yeah. Basil, you, I mean, this has a, 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 an herb that you grow in the garden. This is evil. Should yeah. I call the police? Hold on a minute. Yeah. Oh, we're going to break here. Hold on. <laughs> Officers, I've got him. He, yeah, no, no. He, he brought orange peel in here, and he brought adrenal health that's got some... Uh, some some things that they put in Italian food. Um, like, okay, keep him here, keep him here. It's got wild oats, milky seed. Uh, it's got uh, it's got. Uh, uh oh, okay, all right. SWAT team's coming, good. All right, folks. Uh, we've got the Al Qaeda operative here. We'll be right back to break down more of the government. Containing vaccines may help, not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. Uh, by the way, I was talking to Mike Adams during the break, and he was saying, what's this about shrimp and treadmills? When I was mentioning we don't have money for uh, government buildings have toilet paper, but they've got millions for shrimp on treadmills. And here's the video. Um, let me see that article, Mike. I'm going to read to folks. Uh, millions of dollars in a uh, study. Uh, Senator Cornyn targets shrimp on treadmill and other NSF spending. And uh, there it is. Is there an obesity epidemic among shrimp? No, they're, they're testing the psychology of shrimp. And there's... <laughs> you think I'm joking? You can't make this stuff up. But, uh, you know, the shrimp are now committing suicide. They'll swim right up to birds to be killed when they have the Prozac uh, chemicals in them. Again, made out of a uh, combination of, uh, what is it, fluoride? And then the other one I'm forgetting is um, chlorine. Very delicious uh, for them. Uh, but uh, there you have it. Oh, oh, Senator Coburn targets shrimp on treadmill and uh, other uh, non-essential. Uh, that was uh, $3 million in grants for the uh, sh shrimp you just saw there. Wow. I'm, I'm happy to know we're going to have shrimp ready to run the triathlon. <laughs> when it comes time for that. It's good to, good to know where you know, People right still program. think I'm lying about spider goats, but I saw two more articles about them yesterday. But but again, splicing spiders and goats openly and letting them breed with other goats, that's not a problem. The problem is if people uh, are, are, are promoting uh, uh, things like uh, sea-based uh, uh, algae and uh, uh, getting uh, vitamins out of uh, other types of diatoms and things, that's evil. Yeah, it's, it's clear that the FDA is now going to make it so that the American people have really no, no options whatsoever. They're going to have to turn to Big Pharma because all their nutritional supplements could be taken away under these new proposed regulations, which they haven't been embraced yet, Alex. There's still a comment period, so there's a, there's a chance. Oh, we're allowed to, to comment. Follow. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But they can ignore our comments, and they can just go with it anyway. But remember, Congress is not involved. This is not a proposed law. This is just a, a set of regulations. And if it is adopted, it would immediately wipe out most products on the shelves for seven. And by the way, years. we're not just saying that. Europe's already implemented this. This is already That's happening. Right. Sorry, I'll start over. This would immediately wipe out. Well, it, these products, once these companies apply to the FDA for new permission to sell these products, they would have to take all these products off the shelves for at least 75 days. So, so imagine, in, 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 including this olive leaf, uh, d d just yes. olive leaf extract. How dare you? That's right. Plant extracts, evil, uh, natural vitamins, full spectrum supplements, superfoods. In, in fact, if you think about it, these are the c the kind of products that are keeping the American people alive in many cases, preventing cancer, preventing diabetes, preventing heart disease, keeping people off Obamacare and out of the hospitals, and. If these are taken away from the American people, guess what's going to happen? Uh, Obamacare is people are going to be screaming for more Obamacare. I mean, this is classic problem, reaction, solution. Take away the supplements, cause disease, and then have the government come in and rescue you with more Obamacare. Well, uh, my dad's got a lot of friends that are involved in uh, you know actually trying to bring uh, herbal extracts into uh, the big pharma realm. So. Uh, you know, as mainline Western medicine starts to actually adopt a lot of this, knowing how powerful it is, the, the information he's gotten 
and and a lot of this is in the news as well is that what's really happening is drug companies know they can take natural things change a little carbon molecule or something and then charge you instead of 20 bucks for something a thousand dollars and then ban their competition that's exactly right and in fact this these proposed regulations by the fda specifically exclude synthetic molecules so the drug companies are exempt from all this, even if they sell synthetic vitamins made with chemicals. And you know all those studies that they put out there that say, oh, this vitamin's bad for you? Those are always using the synthetic vitamins, and that's what's going to be legal. Meanwhile, the healthy natural substances like what's in this Enerfood, that's going to be essentially banned or denied by the FDA. So this is the FDA taking more power, pushing more tyranny over the people, taking power that was never granted to it by the 1994 law, Deshay. That law by Congress never intended for the FDA to turn this into an approval process. It was supposed to be a notification process, Alex. You, you, you notify the FDA when you're using an ingredient. You know, you but that's how it always starts. Yes. You know, yes. Uh, the same thing in India, all these ancient temples that have these billions of you know, uh, dollars worth of rubies and things. The government's now identifying what they have so they can then uh, later take it. Our guest is Mike Adams of uh, naturalnews.com. I'm Alex Jones of infowars.com. We'll be right back uh, after this quick break with a lot more. We'll get into more facets of this complete takeover of society that is taking place with Big Pharma writing the rules to shut down their combat. But Mike, again, I've been bantering back and forth and adding a lot of points. Um, but, I mean, here's an example. I talk about shrimp on treadmill studies. A month ago, before it was even on the news, I'm a kook. I talked 15 years ago about spider goats, have the CEO of the company that has these on open range. Uh, I'm a kook, doesn't exist, even though it's all over the news. Uh, now, today, uh, uh, there's many other examples. I talked a year ago about bisphenol A. I talked about it really a decade ago with doctors, but bisphenol A and most of the plastics feminizing men and hyperfeminizing women and accelerating breast cancer. Now those studies are all public, getting attention. But they had George Soros groups attack me and say I was a homophobe because I was saying that this is feminizing men. And in rodent studies, the female rats and mice aren't attracted to the males because they don't smell like males. Most of sex isn't just connected to visual things. It's, it's the uh, uh, smelling cues of the olfactory nerve. So I'm just giving you scientific fact. And the system in George Soros's groups are saying I'm bashing gay people because I'm saying, I'm not saying everybody who's gay is because of this, but the fact is it's exploding because it's also affecting the chemicals in the brain. Men are now feeling effeminate. Uh, so expanding uh, on all of this, there's now a huge move, kind of Codex Alimentaria style, through the bureaucracy. And what is the time frame on all of this, Mike Adams? What can we do to stop it? Right now, these proposed regulations are open to a comment period. Oh, yes, how gracious. They, yeah, they say you can comment on it so that they can then ignore your comments later on. <coughs> but right now, the Alliance for Natural Health, they're at anh-usa.org. They're a nonprofit health freedom group. They've been covering this story as well. They're one of our sources for covering this story. They are working on the front lines. You can check out their website, sign their petition, help resist this new FDA effort to outlaw many of our supplements. You can also talk to your local health food stores and vitamin retailers. Make them aware of this issue and let them know that they need to get on board and fight this tyranny. Otherwise, we could be left without nutritional supplements. Now, I believe, as I'm sure you do as well, Alex, that access to nutritional supplements is a God-given right. It is a natural law right. Just as the Constitution's Bill of Rights, many of those rights are, of course, natural law rights given to us, granted to us by our Creator, and then written down in the Bill of Rights to make sure that those are never taken away from us. Among those are freedom of speech, of course, but another right is freedom to be able to choose what we wish to eat what types of medicine we wish to put into our bodies, and also what types of medicine we want to treat our own children with. But today in the United States, for example, in Detroit with Marianne Godboldo, she refused to treat her daughter with psychiatric drugs. She was raided at gunpoint. Child Protective Services took away her daughter. You, yeah, you've covered this story because she refused to give in and have that child treated with psychiatric drugs. Just an example. It's an example of how the government today, big government, is taking away all of your rights one by one. What you can say, what you can eat, 
what kinds of medicine you can pursue. And this is just the latest assault on those rights by the FDA, which we have proven, we have documented over and over again that the FDA is in the pocket of the drug companies. They do not care about your health. They do not want you to be healthy. They want this whole industry, the nutritional supplements industry, to be wiped out so that consumers have no choice but to go to the monopolistic pharmaceutical market where the drugs are sometimes marked up as much as 55,000% over the cost of their ingredients. Meanwhile, in the United States, we have the most expensive health care in the world and among the worst results in the world. Nutritional supplements could turn that around if they were legalized, if free speech were legalized with nutritional supplements so that these companies could tell the truth. Many of these ingredients actually prevent cancer. Many of them actually prevent diabetes or prevent heart disease or pre prevent Alzheimer's. But the FDA doesn't want you to know that because they are in the business of enforcing nutritional ignorance and now enforcing the censorship, the banning of these nutritional products. So that's where we are today, Alex, with this. It's a very dire situation. People need to take action. People need to resist this latest example of FDA tyranny and, and, and make sure that we have the rights to be able to choose the types of medicine and nutritional supplements that we want to put into our bodies. That's what keeps us alive and keeps us out of Obamacare, which is a very dangerous health care or sick care system. Well, I mean, I went earlier in the first hour through how the United States has gone from the first in good things like health, infant mortality, all, you know, uh, low crime to the worst. And we know that globalism is a eugenics form of, of, of total takeover. But, but what they're doing is they're shifting the whole drug war apparatus with SWAT teams, local police, raiding farmers markets, stores, on video, guns drawn to scare people, to terrorize people that, you know, this is evil, this is horrible. You know, SWAT teaming the Amish, million dollar year long investigations when Amish are openly selling whole milk to their neighbors. Uh, and real cheese, you know, not this boiled out dead stuff. Right. They know exactly what they're doing, and they're just shifting the whole drug war uh, over to this. Well, and isn't it incredible that at the same time, the FDA would essentially be saying that these ingredients are too dangerous to be sold, you know, uh, olive extract or resveratrol, things like that. At the same time, our government, through Operation Fast and Furious, as you all well know, is openly arming the Mexican drug gangs with tens of thousands of firearms, including long-range 50 caliber sniper rifles. I mean, th if our government would do that and actually arm the drug gangs, what makes you think they wouldn't take away the supplements that are keeping you alive? What makes you think the FDA wouldn't take actions that would openly result in the suffering and the death of millions of, of Americans all across the country? Because we've, we have proven, we've documented that the FDA will take those actions and they are taking those actions. We are under assault today, Alex, in, with, with our natural health. We even have issues right now. We're, we're researching another breaking story coming out that chemotherapy is now being widely given to pregnant mothers. So you take these toxic weapons, these chemical weapons. Chemotherapy is derived from weapons. And they knew in the 1980s studies of serotonin reuptake inhibitors, the Prozac class, that it was brain-damaging babies. Yes. Now it's all admitted. And they're giving it to pregnant Women. I mean, oh, you're, you're evil. evil. I mean, you have you have an unborn child now being given chemotherapy through through their mother, and doctors are doing that, and they're saying it's all okay, no problem, don't worry about it. Is it any wonder that we have more and more birth defects, that we have higher rates of autism, that we have uh, the whole healthcare system is failing us, and now they're going to take away this kind of stuff, the stuff that's keeping us alive? That's I don't know. I mean, Alex, I may be a broccoli smuggler pretty soon. I'm going to be in a parking lot selling Ill illegal broccoli extracts and <laughs> waiting, waiting to be raided by the FDA. <laughs> I mean, how are we supposed to keep ourselves alive if they take all this away, too? And not everybody can grow their own food. I mean, that's a great way to do it. If you can, if you can grow your own anti-cancer supplements and grow sprouts in your own kitchen, that's great. But if you can't, you need to turn to companies like this that grow it for you and that concentrate it for you. And these are exactly the companies that are being targeted by the FDA under these new rules. Uh, if you don't mind me plugging, we are covering this on naturalnews.com. We've got a feature story up today that explains all this. It breaks it down point by point. It shows you the FDA's, in their own words, how they're going after the nutritional supplements industry. This is a crucial issue. This is worse than Codex, Alex. It's worse than Codex. Codex was only going to ban specific ingredients. This is making 
all of these companies reapply, groveling at the, at the feet of the FDA to say, please give us permission to sell the products that we formulated for the last 17 years. I mean, this is the, forcing the nutritional supplements industry to now act as complete slaves, complete slaves to a government entity that does not want you to have access to supplements. It's, it's that bad. It's that crazy. And your, your sponsor here, Enterfood, I mean, they have 20, I guess, 20 ingredients in here. Alex, they're going to have to come up with 20 copies of all this paperwork. Yeah, let me show folks that. And they're going to have to submit this times 20 to the FDA to document every ingredient in here. Otherwise, they, they could have their company raided and taken their, their products confiscated. Well, um... All by big pharma, all by big agra pushing this uh, in, in, in this vertically integrated society. They admit that they want a post-industrial society. They want to wreck uh, everybody's uh, ability uh, to you know, make free choices in their own life. This is the nanny state on steroids. That's exactly it. And they keep invading more and more areas of our lives. First, it's, it's, it's the, the economy, and then it was the healthcare system. And then they got into the food. Well, this just trains you to bureaucratically do everything they say so they can then nickel and dime you and SWAT team you and trick a jury into believing you did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, they can label. Remember, if you don't get permission, they can label your product adulterated and they can say it's an adulterated. And again, these are whole foods they're going after. Right. These are things that have orange peel uh, or olive leaf extract. Yes. Uh, or or. Chlorella. Yeah. Astaxanthin. And remember... Yeah, well, tell folks what that is. Well, those are microalgae, very high nutrient... Because the average American wants to ban sodium chloride salt, because it <laughs> sounds scary. They want to ban right. dihydrogen monoxide in studies, water, because it sounds scary. Yeah. It's like carbon dioxide, they think is monoxide. No, these are some of the best detox elements. I mean, chlorella was used to eliminate radiation in in Japan after World War II. Bombs were dropped on, on those folks. Also in Chernobyl, it was used to eliminate help eliminate radiation. It binds with heavy metals. But tell folks what it is. Chlorella, it's a single-celled algae. It's one of the oldest... A single-cell Al-Qaeda. <laughs> it's an Al-Qaeda cell. <laughs> with the... Al-Qaeda wants to use belly bombs. Uh, now uh, we got to have full body x-rays, as I said they would do. Yes, I saw that. You're not with them, are you? I, I, Hold I on, wait a minute. It's orange peel. It's attacking. Ah, ah, it's killing me. Save me, FDA. Save me, Prozac. Ah. Sorry. It's a, it's a single-celled Al-Qaeda cell organism. It's like in Monty Python, the killer rabbit, and said it's the killer, killer interview. Ah, it's, ah. it's incredible. Now, this stuff has been around for millions of years, actually. Here, here, hold on. Give me a document cam shot right here. I'm going to show folks how deadly it is, sir. And now they're trying to say, well, you can't have it anymore. But the point is, <laughs> yeah, check it out. Keep going. <laughs> this, is, this is the stuff. This, <laughs> for those on the radio, Alex is drawing uh, evil demon horns on the side of the, the inner food bottle to, to demonstrate how it's adulterated. There we go. Evil, evil Al-Qaeda superfood. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, but that's the thing. If you uh, this, oh, man. <laughs> I'm under attack here in the studios. <laughs> what, how come... You, why do you go crazy every time I get in your studio live? You, you just start going crazy. <laughs> hey, should we show people the, the latest? Um, oh, the, uh, listen, okay. I have children, so I go to toy stores. A lot of it spy on your parents. This is only the beginning. Playmobil, where you go through the airport body scanner. Look. <laughs> Oh, my God. In fact, show, show yeah, here we we'll, go. We'll, we'll do a document right cam shot. Playmobil has a children's toy set, and your producer pointed out to me that this was introduced right after 9-11. So this came out in 2002, and the children's toy set has uh, a little x-ray uh, scanner, uh, a little check, screening checkpoint, and uh, look, an innocent traveler over here putting the luggage in, in the screening device, and some happy, smiling cops with, uh, or airport police with a, with a wand. <laughs> yeah, but look, see, this proves that food's evil right here. Look. <laughs> Back to the document camp shot, that? please. Look at this, look at this. See, proof. There we go. Sorry. There we go. You, and the, probably they won't, they won't even let you take this through the uh, air, the checkpoint at the airport because they don't they don't know what that is. Could be a bomb. I know what it is. Could it's be evil. It's a bomb. It says it's got barley, wheatgrass, juice powders. It's got organic uh, horsetail. Uh, it's not from horses, by the way, for those listening. Oh, it's pure yeah. evil. It's got lemon peel, even worse, organic. <laughs> organic uh, papaya. Oh, papayas. Yeah. You're not going to defend papayas, are you? Uh, well, uh, maybe the green ones. Uh, I, I, I like the green ones. 
ripe papayas. They, they could be evil. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait for the FDA's decision on that. But, you know, Attorney Jonathan Emord, you, you know Jonathan Emord, he has written a book about this called The Rise of Tyranny where he talks about how the FDA, all unelected bureaucrats, they write their own law. But tyranny's never risen. That's a conspiracy theory. I, well, I, I guess I'm a conspiracy theorist because... Everything's fine. ...about all this, what's going on with the food supply, with, with the nutritional supplements. But uh, check out Jonathan's book, The Rise of Tyranny. He explains this, how the... Reading the books? I know. I know. Books don't exist. You know, in, in fact, in fact, they're, you're trying to phase out breastfeeding. In fact, there's a conspiracy theory that women ever breastfed. <laughs> that's been that's been pushed by the formula makers, probably. Well, what's wrong with formula that's half corn syrup? Well, I guess there's just not enough corn syrup in it. They need to up up the dose because, especially synthetic GMO corn syrup. What? That's, that's Are you a conspiracy theorist? Earlier we played a clip where the uh, news, the government said mercury's good for children's brains. Are you so extreme that you're here defending orange peel? You're here defending, I'm going to say it again, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, defending uh, selenium, defending uh, olive leaf extract, defending algae, defending vitamins. You heard me right. And attacking the life giver mercury guilty is charged alex i mean call me call me a, a patriot or call me a conspiracy <laughs> i'm gonna call person. you a I dangerous care. crazy I care, person i believe in real food and real nutrition oh and I, whoa. Think you, and I think chemotherapy shouldn't be given to pregnant women and i think the fda are a bunch of bureaucratic killers who are basically going to cause the death of, of next you're going to tell me that once humans actually ate food instead of government issued pills yes that's true i could prove it to you Yep. Uh, no. I'll bring the documentation. No. They actually ate food. In fact, Alex, people actually used to grow food. <laughs> I mean, people had seeds. <laughs> this guy's a lunatic. See, no, I'm. <laughs> I, I swear, they had seeds that could be used generation after generation. You oh, that's a Bible. funny one. Seeds I, used to yes. grow more plants. I, I know. <laughs> I, I I'm sorry, folks. I swear this I guy, this some. guy just escaped from the Texas Mental Hospital. Uh, uh, I'll bring you some. I'm not making it up. Next, you're going to say we should try to keep government small and shouldn't trust them, like that terrorist George Washington. Well, that is my belief that we should keep government small and out of our lives and out of our food supply and out of our gardens, out out of our farmers markets. Leave the Amish alone. Stop arresting them for selling raw milk. I mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just my belief system, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you here. That's. I'm gonna I'm apologize to listeners right now for this type of extremism. <laughs> when YouTube threatened to shut down our channel if we criticized Obama in any way, they said criticism of Obama um, is racism, and I agree with them now. He is my God. He is my King, and uh, people like Mike Adams need to go to a FEMA camp. You need to be reeducated. I can't believe Once there's a big supercomputer yeah. running everything, we're all going to be, everything's going to be great. Well, well, um, I will debate that with you anytime right here on your own show, Alex, because I believe, I believe that we have the right to choose, make our own choices in our own lives, choices about, oh about what we eat, about what we Whoa. give to our children, about what, where we have free speech, about going out in public and being able to, to tell our truth. Next, you believe that once Americans had the right to demonstrate without a permit? Uh, that's exactly what I believe. Yes, indeed. Right here on The Alex Jones Show. Thanks for having me on, by the way. Oh, the show's not over yet, <laughs> extremist. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm ready for more. Let's do it. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, we are definitely in the presence of an extremist. And, uh... I'm calling Homeland Security as soon as this show's over, buddy. Uh, their own manuals say people that talk like you are evil. And we got some evil callers we're going to take, too. Maybe there's this big stay of execution that Obama's trying to order Rick Perry to do of a convicted uh, rapist and killer of a, what, 16-year-old girl. Meanwhile, the Mexican government's protesting it. Um, you know, they just take you out back and shoot you down there. But the uh, you were talking, Mike Adams, about how uh, they do want to prosecute in Mexico the ATF agents. And I think that's a great idea, but we should start with the attorney general who's been caught lying about running this operation. Yeah, it's interesting. If, if those kinds of crimes, the, the fast and furious crimes, were committed against America, the American legal system, certainly the attorney general, would definitely call for those criminals to be tried in America. Just like we went and we and we got Noriega, we we went after Saddam Hussein, we went after uh, Bin Laden. You know, we we go out and and serve justice or bring him back home and try them in the U.S. Well, the Mexican government is saying, hey, these 
These ATF agents committed crimes against Mexico by actually arming the drug gangs with these assault rifles, with these uh, firearms, I mean, tens of thousands of them. Let's try those criminals in the Mexican court system. Wow, what a, what a cool idea. I would like to see that go down, actually, because these, these were crimes committed really by, by the U.S. government, by certain individuals under command from the federal government, crimes committed against the Mexican people, against the Mexican nation. I mean, running guns into Mexico as an official U.S. government operation. So I'd love to see those people tried in Mexico and see what comes out of, of those court cases. Maybe it would set a precedent for uh, extradition of rogue U.S. agents who are committing crimes against other nations. By the way, I'm noticing more and more YouTube is not letting us put certain headlines in. Is that right? And at first it was just URLs, but like I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting a headline up on our YouTube channel, that little interview we did in between breaks or during the break, and they're not letting me upload criticism of the FDA. Very really? nice people. Oh, yes, really? the censorship's really intensifying. Uh, it, it, it's pretty crazy. We hear a lot of stories of companies or individuals who have raw food blogs or nutrition blogs, and they get they get their, their YouTube accounts shut off with a lot of uh, frequency. You've had <laughs> folks uh, harassing you, trying to set you up. You don't want to get sure. into the whole story. Big big pharma follows you around. <laughs> yeah. Private. Well, I had a guy impersonate me, try to get access to our corporate offices in Taiwan. We have offices in different countries and different cities, and they actually try to access our offices in Taiwan by impersonating me physically. Uh, try, and they, it, the guy didn't even look like me, by the way. He was just like, oh, it's just some white guy. And you've had the guys the following office. you to your hotel rooms that yes. turn out to be PIs. Yeah, we've had. So there are reasons why I don't go out and speak in public a lot. I do sometimes, but often it's just unannounced uh, where I'm not on the roster. But, uh, yeah, they, they they try their intimidation tactics. I had a guy run up at an airport and, and start grabbing me. Really? And saying, yeah. Was it a TSA agent? You know, trying to get in a fight with me, dra oh. grabbing my chest and things. But who knows? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's definitely getting crazy. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? As more people stand up, they can't intimidate us all. And they know that tipping point's coming. It's why they're panicking. Uh, let's talk to Nick in Chicago. Uh, Nick, you're taking us out here. Got about a minute and a half left. Go ahead, Nick. Alex, you're awesome. Um, thanks for, the, for taking my call. Um, had two quick questions. Can't we all uh, notify Whole Foods and Trader Joe's to go ahead and file a class action lawsuit against the FDA? Yeah, it's time for these companies to stop cowering and get aggressive. That, that will probably take place. I imagine, I mean, th this has only been developing for two days. So I imagine the health freedom attorneys are, are fully aware of this issue and already building a case, perhaps a, a, some kind of a lawsuit. I don't know if it would be class action at this point, but maybe, maybe a corporate lawsuit from companies like, like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or Vitacost, whoever, whoever's selling these supplements. This is their whole business. They're gonna yeah, this is, this is all part of the assault on anything that's independent, any economy left in this country. You know, the feds are, by law, supposed to give all of the small business contracts to small businesses. They won't give them to any of them now. It, I mean, it's just total, and it turned out there's a secret blacklist. Only you know, big guys can do it. Scott in Idaho, uh, it's wide open. Got any comments about any subjects? Yeah. Hi, Alex. Hi, Michael. Hey. Uh, good to talk to two of my favorite freedom fighters. Um, I'd like to respond to the anti-constitutionalist, if I could. The Supreme Court ruled in 1966 in an uh, infamous case called Miranda versus Arizona, and I quote, where rights secured by the federal constitution are involved, there can be no rulemaking or legislation which would abrogate them. And I have a feeling, Alex and Mike, that where all this uh, tyranny will be ending up is in our courts. And I'd like to make uh, the statement that I I've made to uh, thousands of people over the years that uh, if you don't know what your rights are, then you don't have any. And by the way, they're using this latest uh, death of the baby uh, case, Casey Anthony, what's it called? I haven't paid much attention, but now, sure enough, they're saying get rid of juries, have professional juries everywhere. Hey, if there's reasonable doubt, better that uh, 10 guilty people go free than one innocent person go to prison. Uh, I've been getting that quote backwards all week, but, but there it is. You know, Alex, I mean, look, the medical system kills babies constantly, and I'm not talking about abortion, although that's part of it, but I'm talking about chemotherapy and pregnant mothers. I'm talking about the psychiatric, psychiatric drugging of children who commit suicide. I mean, they're... they're no, no, they know the Prozac causes a suicide. Thank you, Scott. Great points. Luke in Tennessee, you're on the air. Go ahead. What's up, Alex? Hey, Luke. I've been a listener. How's it going, man? Good. Go ahead. Um, I've been a listener for a little bit, and I wanted to let you guys know I'm 
a little bit upset right now. There's a bag of oranges on my counter. Um, Whoa. And I don't know what they're called. Yeah. And a I bag of al Qaeda. Does it have peel? The peel? The peel's the deadly part. Well, that's like the well, Bin Laden, it, yeah. He does have the peel, and I think he may have unpaid student loans. So my next call will be to the Department of Education on that one. Well, they are SWAT teaming people now for unpaid uh, bills, which is illegal. But, hey, so what? Yeah, well, clearly, right, he, he's got orange peel. If he dries that orange peel and puts it in a bottle, he could be subjected to FDA raids for offering it for sale. Well, he's evil. Yep. Uh, anything else, terrorist? Well, uh, my, my really only point was, here uh, around where I live, there, there are a lot of drug companies. <clears throat> and a couple of my friends work for the drug companies, and they are so suspicious with just their operations. Um, their hiring goes through... Uh, Almost a quasi-government type temp agency. Well, most of it's made in, uh, well, that's because the corporations run the government in China, and almost all of the over-the-counter mainline drugs are being found to be totally tainted with poison. But so what? Orange peel's evil. I'm sorry, what, what other creepiness is going on in your area? I'm sorry, tell us what they do. Well, it's um, their hiring process is just so abnormal, uh, I would consider, because... They hire, you know, they won't even hire anybody. Uh, you have to go through a private temp agency that has just a total government footprint uh, all over it. And the reason I know this is because, <clears throat> just for suspicion, I was in one of these things. Um, I work for a consulting company that does a little bit of work around here, but I went in a temp agency. And people are just crowding these things. They're no, 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 no. They call it infrastructure protection. And, and now you heard about the medical, uh, you know, uh, the 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 9 first responders finally getting medical care they said you've got to go through a terror database every time you access it and so that's the admission tsa on the streets federal authorization to have any job well, freedom it's no surprise because i think anybody who has a conscience anybody who has ethics would not work for these drug companies so they have to profile just like they do with tsa or a lot of uh, some local police departments they profile to make sure they get a certain kind of uh, psychotic individual to take that job that's not surprising that are extremely ordinary, the word, because it's, you know, you're, you're given a test. I actually took the test and I watched them hire about 15 people that were, you know, sitting there playing with their guns and doing cal making calculations for these tests on their phones. Um, but, you know, I have a college education. And By I playing with their tests. guns, you mean like going there with their muscles or? <laughs> Their gum. Oh, their gum. Gum. Yeah. oh, their gum. I thought you were going to say they had $3 million federal grants to put shrimp on treadmills or other craziness. <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Thank you, Mike Adams, naturalnews.com.